right? My name is Iman Shyam, and till the time being, your new teacher is not appointed in your school. I'll be taking your classes, right? We'll be starting with the very first question that is for I in my block print I question mark. I'll be calling out the names, or what you can do is those who wants to answer, you just have to raise your hands, right? I'll call out the names and you'll be answering. The questions are quite easy. So for I in my block print I comma question mark. What will be printed on the output screen? The question is for Aryan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For I in my block, print I comma question mark. Yeah, I'm the Aryan? Yes, sir. Can you see the screen? Is the yes, question answered? Please tell me the output that will be printed on the output screen. For I in my blog print I comma question mark. Sir, sir, it will uh, print. Uh, uh, sir, it will uh, print. Uh, uh, I comma my blog. What is I? Aaron, what is I here? Sir, uh, I is a. Uh, is I a literal or a identifier? Uh, literal. Shashant, uh, Shashwat, sorry, Shashwat. Yes, sir, Shashwat. Sir, the output will be M question mark in the next line Y question mark and continuing on for the rest of the screen. Great, very good. Aaron. I is basically an iterator. It's a variable, right? So in the first iteration, the value of I will be M. It goes inside the block that is print I comma question mark. The value of I is M printing question mark as it is. Then, sir, it, sir, sir uh, it will print a M Y B L O G. Not like this, not like this. M question mark. Because in every uh, this print statement will be executed six times. Right. In every six time, it is going to print question mark as well with the character, with the character that has been given to you. So in the first iteration, it is M. The value of I is M. So M question mark. Next line, Y question mark, B question mark. M question mark, Y question mark, B question mark, L question mark, O question mark, G. Question mark at the last. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, Kanak, for the second one, the output should be. And all the students are required. Please do not run these programs in your IDLE or any other software. Please do not run these programs in your system. You have to tell these answers manually. Solve these answers manually, right? Yes, Kanak. Sorry, it will print uh, one to four numbers in this. One to four. Uh, this range, the value which is given inside the range, what is that? The end value, start value, or the step value? What is that? The end value. The end value. And we haven't given the start value, so by default the start value is one zero. 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 Right? So the output will be zero one two three four. Zero one two three four. Great. Arav, the question is for you. Third one. See, uh, let me tell you one more thing. I'm not taking your test. I'm not take I'm not checking your knowledge. We are just discussing the questions so that you'll be able to revise these topics. Because I think in the September in the, you'll be having half daily examinations in which you are going to have the whole term one syllabus, right? Yes or no? You'll be having the term, uh, the whole term one syllabus in the September examination. Yes. Sir. Anna, you'll be having the whole syllabus. So okay, that would just, be in November, December, or in September. See, you'll be having uh, in the half field examination what we have planned for our school. See, uh, that's what I'm asking from you. What we have planned for our school, for sector, global school, that we'll be having the whole term one syllabus test. Right. Now, I don't know about your school that what it is going to plan. Okay. Shalom. Uh, moving further, Arav, the question is for you, the third one. What shall be the output? Print on output screen if I print for I in range 10, 15, print I. Arav. 
No response. Sanket. Sanket. Yes, sir. Question number three. For I range 10, 15 print I. Give me a sir, second. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. It will be 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 14. Okay. Next one. Uh, who's going to answer this? Ashwarya. Question number one. For I in 1, comma 10, print I. Sir, I, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, now I'll request you please look out the question again. Look for this question again and then tell me the answer. 1 to 9 is wrong. Please see carefully. It is so written for I in. Uh, yes? 1 to 9. Wrong. Do we have a range function in this? The output will be Ashwarya. We do not have the range function. First of all, what is this? It's a sequence. It's a tuple. You have heard about tuples. What are tuples? Yes, sir. What are tuples? What do you mean by tuples? What is the basic difference yes, between a tuple and a list? Yes. The tuple cannot be edited, but list can be edited. So if I have to give a very simple answer in a single word. So tuples are immutable sequences. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, These sir. Are immutable sequences. So it's actually a tuple. We haven't given a range function. If I have given a range function, then it has to be printed like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I haven't given the range function. It is simple for i in 1, comma 10. So the output will be? Ashwarya, the output will be? 1 and 10. 1. And the next line, it will be 10. Aman, for I in 5, comma 9, print I. Aman? Okay. Arumita, for I in 5, comma 9. Sir, 10. 10. Uh, for question number two, I'm asking dear. For I in five comma nine, print I. Arumita. It's the same as we have done for the first question. It is exactly same. Just the values are different. The rest of the question is exactly, uh, exactly same. Yes, Arumita. Five, five, and then, five, and in the next line it will be nine, right? Okay. Uh, next, who is going to answer? Aryan. Question number five. For i in Python, print i and equals to uh, empty space. Aryan. Huh. Yeah, what do you think the output will be for the fifth one for i in pi then print i comma and equals to empty space? B equal to sorry. Bhavya Bharat watch. Yes, sir. So, so it will be B equal to that sector. P equals to. Yes, sir. Wrong. Uh, Bhavya Bhardos, can you please answer for this? The question, uh, the question number five. What will be the output for this? For i in Python, print i comma and equals to empty space. Sir, p in bracket, y in bracket, t in bracket, bracket. H in bracket. I mean, no, that comma, sorry. Uh, so, 
Aryan, Bhavya, am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bhavya Mishra. Sixth one. Uh, this is by mistake. I have written double uh, equal. So it is not double equals. It is single equal. So for I in Python, print I comma and equals to single equal question mark. Bhavya Mishra. Yes, sir. Question number six. P space Y space T space H space O there space. Won't a, there, there won't be a space C if I have written if it is mentioned at and equals to question mark. So it it should mean something. Daman. Uh, yes, sir. Prime Python print I and equals to question mark. Question number six. Sir, it must be P question mark Y question mark T question mark. Exactly. Uh, Bhavya, would it be in the same line or different lines? Sir, it would be in the same line. In the same line. Great. Uh, Daman, question number seven. Yes, sir. For I in Python, print I comma question mark dollar. So students, uh, if you want to write these questions in a notebook, you can write it down. You know, including the outputs, you can write it down. Daman, for I in Python, print I comma question mark dollar. What should be the output printed on the output screen? Sir, P question mark dollar, Y question mark dollar. Okay, uh, in the same line or in the different lines? Sir, same line. Have you given end operator here? Have you mentioned end operator in the print statement? I think no. We haven't mentioned no, it. No, sir. So whenever we mention end operator, then only the print statements, uh, then only it is going to print it in the same line. But if, you're, if we are not mentioning, so every time this print statement will be executed, will be in the same, uh, will be in the different lines in the next okay. line. So it will be like P question mark dollar in the next line, Y question mark dollar in the next line, T question mark dollar like this. Okay, sir. Uh, Devansh, question number ten. For I in range two comma ten comma two print I. Sir, it will print two comma four comma six comma eight. That's it. Different lines or same line? Sir, same line. Sorry, different line, different line, different. Different lines. Okay, who is going to tell the answer for this one? Dishita. Gautam. Gautam Kakkar. Yes, sir. X equals to 5. While X is less than 15, print X key power 2. X plus equals to 3. What should be the output? Sir, I don't know. At least you can give a try, dear. it can be 
How you have done it? Sir, it will Actually be the... Or on the system? No, sir. Sir, I am on phone right now. Achha, you have done it manually. Great. Anyone who is having doubts in this, question number one. Anyone who has not understood that how this output 2564, 121 and 196 is printed. Yes, any one of you who is having doubts in this? Sir, won't it be, sir, 2839, sir, 60... Uh... 2869. How is it going to be? Uh, see. Sir, 25 plus 3, then. Print the squares. Yes, yeah, so yeah, squares. And you are incrementing okay, the value of x. Right? Right? You are printing the square of the number, but you are incrementing the value of x. And the value of x is 5. Got it? You are not changing the value, you are not updating the value of x in the print statement. You are just printing it. Clear? Yes, sir. Question number two. Uh, Jayam, Gautam, uh, Himanshu Kumar. Question number two. A is 7, B is 5, while A is less than 9, print A plus B, A plus equals to 1. Himanshu Kumar. No response. Jayant. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it will print like. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me. So from six till it will print like six, seven, oh, six, uh, and like eight. Lakshya. Sir, is I am audible? Yes, Imanshu, you are audible. Sir. Yes, dear. Sir. Yes, Imanshu, you are audible, dear. Uh, so it will print like 12 and 13, like next to next. It will print 12 in the like uh, in the first line. In the next line, it is going to print 13. How? Can you please explain yes. me how? So because like first we have added like a plus a plus b and a is smaller than nine. So uh, and uh, so like we'll add first like seven and five, then eight and five. Okay, great. Uh, Laksha Bansal, B is 5, yes, while, B is, while B is as a 9, print H, B plus equals so 2. So what was the output of the last question? The previous question? It yes. will be 12, and on the next line it is going to be 13. Okay. Laksha Bansal, B is 5, while B is less than 9, print H, B plus equals to 1. Yes. But if I ask you to convert this particular block, this particular loop, into the for loop, is it possible to convert? Is it is it possible to convert this while loop into a for? Tell me this first of all. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is possible. Yes, uh, Lakshya, first of all, tell me the output of this for, and then we'll be doing the conversion of this loop. Tell me the output. Sir, four times h. 4 times h for the values of b as 5, 6, 7, and 8. And what will be the equivalent for loop for this? For i in range 5, 9, 1, say sure. h. Is it necessary to give the step value as 1 at the last? Is it compulsion? Is it a compulsion no. to give this? Repeat the question. I'm asking, is it a compulsion to give the step value as one in the last of the for loop in the range function? Is it no, a compulsion? Sir. No, sir. Will there be any change if I mention one or if I not mention one? 
No sir, it will be there. Change. But if there is any other value, accept one. If there is any other value, then yes, we have to mention, right? Because by default the value of step is one, so we can ignore it. But if the value of step is something else, then we have to mention it. Question number four, Pragya. B yes, should, while B is greater than nine, print hello B equals to B minus two. How many times is hello is going to be printed on the output screen? Uh, three times. Three times for uh, the values of B as. What will be the values of B 13, for which? Thirteen, uh, fifteen, thirteen, and eleven. Fifteen, thirteen, and eleven. Very good. And if I ask you to convert this while loop into equivalent for loop, it would be. What would uh, what would uh, what? Uh, will be the equivalent for loop for this. It is going to print it because we have written b is greater than nine. So we'll be taking the value. Chalo, jab tak value ten hai, tab tak it is going to print hello. So what are you going to write in the range function? Fifteen comma. What should be the value? What should be the end value that you are going to write? Nine. Thirteen. Sorry. Please be louder. Nine. Nine. If you are going to write nine, let us calculate. You are you are writing nine, and the step is minus two. So it is going to work till eleven. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely, it is correct. Why? Because we are printing the value hello till the value of b is eleven. Hello. So great. Coming to the this one, next one, uh, Rohan, Rohan Solanki. Yes. The output for this code. Sir, I am checking with. These are the oral questions. Sir, it will print hello only. How many times? Only one time. Only one. uh sayam hello question number 6 x is 1 2 3 for i and x print a so please can you repeat the question uh the question is there on the screen question number 6 Is it visible? Uh, not uh, clear. Actually, my network is not so strong. Your yeah, network is not stable. Okay. Uh, Sanket. Yes, sir. Question number six, dear. Sir, it will print a three times. It will print a three times. Absolutely correct. Sir, a b on the screen. Anji. Yes. Sir, error on the screen. Yes, me too. Ah, why, sir? Um, sir, because the matlab jab aise wale jab to um, sir, jo program jo the sir usme x ki baat hui. Sir, what is x? Very variable. Uh, what type of value it is holding, and what kind of variable it is? Sir, it is holding character. Integer, integer value. It is not holding integer values. It is holding a string. Yes, yes sir. Double inverted. Okay, sir. It is, it is holding a string. So the loop will run like this. First of all, in the first iteration, the value of i will be one. Okay, print a. We have printed a. It's not a compulsion that you are going to print only the value i, only the value of iterator. It's not a compulsion. But you are the king of your print statement. You can print anything that you want to print. This is just a loop. 
it is just controlling it how many times you are going to implement the print statement how many times you are going to execute the block right yes yes sir it is simply a string for i in it is simply like this for i in 1 2 3 right first of all the value of i is 1 okay print a we have printed the uh, character a increment the value of i now the value of i is 2 print a printed 3 printed the string is over the loop will get terminated will move out simple right okay sir okay uh shivansh question number 7 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One minute. So I think there will be no output. There will be no output. Uh, can you please explain me why? Shivansh, can you please explain me why there will be no output? स्टेटमेंट right and uh, this print a is actually inside the loop right so sorry sir i had not noticed the indent ha huh. there is an indentation error right there is an indentation error because i have written print a inside the while loop and whenever it uh, whenever this break statement will get executed it is going to break it is going to terminate the while loop will move out of the loop right acha what if this print statement is out of the while loop then what shriya yes sir uh, what if this print a is out of the while loop tell me dear what if This print a is out of the while loop. Then what should be the output on the output? Then the if statement uh, will take the while loop. Hold on. Please, please wait. Please wait. Sir, a. Only a will get printed. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, Siddhant Sharma. i can see that your concepts are quite clear you know your concepts to everyone your concepts uh, are quite clear that's good siddhant sharma 